Hello and welcome back to Designing in the Browser with Bootstrap. Now before we can get started designing our site, we need to download the Bootstrap framework. So if we go to getbootstrap.com and click on the giant download Bootstrap link, we'll see a few different options for downloading. The first and easiest option is this download Bootstrap link here. This is the compiled minified CSS, JavaScript, fonts, etc. Uh, this is ready to go. You just put it in a folder, link to it, and you're good to go. There are also other options for downloading the source code. Now, this would include the less files. If you want to compile less into CSS files, if you'd rather use SAS, there's another option for that over here on the right. Or if we scroll down, you can use Bootstrap without actually having to download it, simply by linking to the Bootstrap content delivery network. And if you're really adventurous, you could also install it using Bower. Now we're not gonna get into that. That's a little more technical that I wanna get into uh, for this particular course. But if you're familiar with Bower, then that's certainly an option for you. And that makes it really easy to install a new version of Bootstrap with every website that you create. Now if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see everything that's included when you download and install Bootstrap. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on this first download link to download the compiled and minified code. So we'll click on download bootstrap. It's going to download that into my downloads folder I can show that in finder. And here we go. It's a simple zip file. And I've also got another finder window open here with our project files folder open. And in that project files folder, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder called site zero one. Now, as we work through this course, I'm gonna save multiple versions of this site folder, but for now we'll start in site 01. And I'm gonna drag this bootstrap zip file into our project files folder. Then we're going to unzip it. On a Mac, you can do that simply by double clicking on it. If you're using a PC, usually the easiest way is to right click and click on extract all. But once we've got that extracted into a folder, we can open up that folder to see everything that's inside it. So we have our CSS folder fonts and our JavaScript folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that folder as is and just drag it into the site one folder. Then we can open up that folder and see our bootstrap folder within our site one folder. But I wanna go ahead and link to bootstrap here. So I'm gonna grab this site one folder and I'm gonna drag it down to TextMate here. And I'm gonna use TextMate to edit my HTML, CSS files, things like that. It's my text editor of choice. Usually I do go back and forth between a few different types of text editors, but I do use TextMate quite a bit. And in the site01 folder, I'm just gonna right click and create a new file. And I'm gonna call this new file index.html. Now we could start typing all of this in ourselves, or we could go back to the Bootstrap website. And if we go to the top, uh, we're in the getting started section here, and that's where you wanna go. So if you're at the main site, you can click on the getting started link or the download link will get you here as well. And over here on the right, we'll see a sub menu, which is just different sections of this particular web page. And if we click on this link for basic template, you'll see a simple HTML template that we can just copy and paste and get started that way. So I'm gonna highlight all of that HTML, copy it, and then I'll jump back into TextMate and just paste all of that code. Now the way I've set everything up here, it's not gonna work right out of the box. This link here, or this path, is assuming that this CSS folder and this fonts folder is all in the same directory as our index.html file, which isn't the case. Our index.html file is in the site01 folder along with our bootstrap folder. So one thing we can do here is we can pull these folders out of the bootstrap folder, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna jump into Finder, and we'll go into our project files folder into site01, expand out bootstrap, and then grab these three folders inside the bootstrap folder, and then just drag them up and into the site01 folder. Then we can grab this bootstrap folder, which is now empty, and just delete it. So now the index.html file is in the same folder as our CSS directory, our fonts directory, and our JavaScript directory. So now these paths should work just fine. So now if I save our index.html page and then right click on it up here, and I'm gonna view that in Chrome, 
we can see our first bootstrap page. So that'll get us started with our site. And as we move forward, we'll start to design our website in the browser using bootstrap. So thank you for watching and we'll get started in the next video.